Hello, bonjour, Calgary. Did you know that at least 238,000 people speak Francais in Alberta and that 90,000 live right here in Calgary? Oui, oui, c'est vrai, it's true. And now, thanks to Shaw Community Access Programming, we get to reach out to everyone to let you know all about our special people, places, events, and activities happening in this fair city, in both English and en français. That's right, mes amis. We begin the first part of our program in English, and then we repeat it en français. So stay with us. Hello, bonjour. We are welcoming today uh, Constable Aaron Johnston of the Canine Unit for the Calgary Police Force and Constable Jean-François Derry with the Tactical Unit of the Calgary Police Force. So welcome. Thank you. And we also have with us Ben. That's right. Ben is um, your dog and Ben is a working dog. Correct, yeah. Correct. So tell us a little bit about, you heard your name, eh, Ben? <laughs> tell us a little bit about uh, the type of work that you do with Ben. Uh, so Ben is uh, one of uh, 16 of our patrol dogs for the Calgary Police Service. Uh -huh. And uh, his role is uh, primarily to um, locate and apprehend offenders that are fleeing from the police. Uh, he's also cross-trained in drug detection and uh, so is called into situations where uh, we maybe need to search a vehicle or search a house for drugs. Um, his primary role would be the, the uh, locating and apprehending of, of offenders, is his primary role. And then we can also get called in, uh, he can be used for uh, locating missing people, possibly that are missing, um, just by uh, using his nose and, and tracking the human scent that people leave behind. Mm, that's good. And how long is the training? Like so from start to finish, uh, the training is usually, uh, the basic training for them is usually about six months. Uh, training is ongoing uh, throughout their careers and throughout our careers. Um, so it will, it will just really never end uh, as, long as, uh, as long as he's working for us. And so yeah, it's, the basic training is the six month portion and then we do ongoing training throughout. On the job uh, on the training. Job training all the time. Yeah. Nice. And uh, so tell me a little bit about a, a cycle for Ben, like how many days does he work? The, the same hours as you do all the time? And exactly, so um, he's, he has the same days off, he has the same days working that I do. Uh, I'm in charge of him 24-7, um, so it's, uh, he comes home with me, he lives with me with my family, and uh, he has, yeah, he just, he works whatever I do. So he's, he's on shift work, he works night shifts a lot, uh, he works day shifts, and yeah just uh hard just, work yeah. it, it can be it can be he works yeah. pretty hard uh they definitely have to uh to work hard to uh, in order to sometimes find the guys that are running from us you know but he enjoys it and that's uh, that's what he's that's what he's here for he, he absolutely loves it so and do you often also work with uh, jean-francois unit the tactical we do unit? yeah so it's uh we're we're out of the same section and so we work together a lot on the similar type of calls. We have different roles in the calls than, than something that uh, a JF would have, but it would, we, we, work, we basically work uh, all the same types of calls that they do, it's just we have just different roles. So it uh, okay. just sort of depends on the, on the particular situation. And Jean-François, tell us a little bit about what you do in the tactical unit. Well, I'm in the tactical unit. Um, our primary focus is basically all the high-risk calls in Calgary. Um, as Aaron said, uh, part of that uh, complement is also the canine unit. So, um, you know, if there's somebody that's barricaded in a house or there's a search warrant to be done, uh, you know, for the drug unit, let's say, um, we'll be we'll basically do all the planning uh, to surround that house and safely resolve that situation, get that person out. And part of that will be getting the canine unit to assist us with that. To obviously for for the offenders, if they want to flee or they want to, you know. Uh, leave the house or something like that you know that's kind of a specialty um you also have some bomb training you were I saying i do before? yeah uh basically once you, you start with the tactical unit you um we're all uh we all do entries so we all you know enter houses and do stuff like that do clearing and tactical work we also specialize so our three specials 
uh, three specialties, excuse me, uh, will be either bomb, te bomb technician, uh, a gas technician, or a sniper. So for myself, I'm a bomb technician. So there's uh, you know six of us um, in Calgary right now. There's actually nine with a few guys that are still doing it part time, and uh, we all basically go to the Canadian Police College to be trained there uh, in explosives, and then we come back. So that's kind of our it's my side job on the TAC unit, if that makes any sense. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you both started as patrol officers with the police force? That's right. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Was the first job. And when did you figure out that you wanted to specialize in something other, like the canine unit? Were you, did you always have a dog? Did, did you think that that's what you wanted to do in the police force? Yeah, for me it was. It was just something that I always wanted to do. It was something that was, uh, when I joined the police service, it was just the unit that I wanted to try to get into. Uh, ah. it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fairly sought after spot where a, lo a lot of people do want to, uh, it's, a, it's an interest to a lot of people. So I just, as, as soon as I was able to, I just started sort of working towards that goal and um, yeah. And, yeah, and how many officers are there in your unit now? There's a total of 17, so we have 15 constables and two sergeants. The two sergeants sort of oversee the unit as a whole and, uh, and the other 15 are, are, are the ones that are, are sort of, um, I, I guess the ones that are, are kind of out and about and, and taking the calls for service and that sort of thing. Okay, and how many calls a year? You know, it does change a little bit per year. Uh, last year we did approximately 8,000 um, wow. as a unit, as the 15 of us. Uh, the, and that's sort of our primary role. Our, our primary role is to support uh, patrol and the, and the street members that are out there. Um, they're sort of the bread and butter to, to policing in general, and we're just there to primarily support them. And then what we also do is then we'll support uh, members of the tactical unit and, and whatever unit basically requests us. We'll search uh, every every type of unit from the drug unit to uh, high enforcement units to auto theft units to the tactical unit to patrol. So that's really our role. Our role is just to, to jump around and just assist wherever we can. Okay. And how many dogs, like on a shift, would there be out? out Typically there? it does change. Um, you know, it can be anywhere from sort of two to six, really, in any given okay. time. And uh, it's just that they're, we're responsible for certain parts of the city and, and we just respond to calls as needed. Oh, yeah. It's a big city. It is. Also, it's a huge so city, yeah. yeah. The distance is huge for sure. Uh, and how about Ben? Does Ben get out uh, as often as, uh, get out of the truck as often as you guys do? You or? know, and that's the thing is, is a lot of times we, we get called to calls that we're, we're not, the dog isn't really needed. We maybe realize that an offense hasn't been committed. So uh, Ben's requirement to get out of the truck is that an offense has been committed okay. or is highly likely to be committed. Um, okay. So. Out of the 8,000 calls, what we're looking at is, is approximately, you know, anywhere between, you know, sort of 1,400 to 1,600 times per year, we'll be pulling the dogs out of the truck to actually work. Okay. So there's a lot of times we're just in the area. A lot of time we're just parked up the street or we're just on the backside of a house. So it really just depends on the, on the given circumstance. Okay. And for the tactical unit, so how many calls a year would approximately? You know what, we do about 40 to 50 a month, so it's between oh, okay. 500 and 600. Um, and that's um, in progress calls and also planned operations. So, you know, a planned operation would be, uh, you know, a specific unit will generate a search warrant. So, whether let's say a, there's a homicide suspect and there's a search warrant to go arrest that person, so that would be a planned call where we would plan that arrest. And obviously, the in progress calls are just regular street calls. So, uh, you know, something kind of goes sideways on the street, as mentioned, of you know, a weapon or something that's more dangerous than, you know, uh, the regular patrol. Uh, Duties. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, I mean, not that they couldn't handle it. They absolutely can. But, we, you know, we have got the training. We've got the equipment. And so we can come in there and assist. And, and that's really our role is to assist uh, the street. Yeah. We call it the street. Make it safer as that's well. Right. For yeah. the policemen as well as for absolutely. the public, right? Absolutely. So that's good. And I understand that there is a calendar that you have out there with uh, dogs such as Ben in it. That's right, yeah. He's and Mr. Your August. Mr. Mr. August, August. Yeah, right is here, Ben? Yeah, right oh, here, yeah. wow, that's great. <laughs> yeah. And you're fundraising for what exactly? It was, yeah, it was, it's a fundraiser for one of our foundations called the Police Foundation. It's, it's under the Calgary Police Service. Um, it's a, it's a, basically a foundation that's designed for 
youth and, and uh, a focus on youth and youth issues. Uh, so really just kind of starting off from youth issues right from the elementary level, uh, getting them used to seeing police officers, getting them used to you know the programs that we can offer, and uh, just really just uh, just kind of the behind the scenes sort of thing that uh, people don't really realize maybe the police are involved in. Um, so that's, yeah, that was kind of the primary focus. So it was, it was just sort of a tabletop idea amongst the members. We had heard some other departments do that. And then it was uh, Constable Sean McGilvery in our unit that uh, kind of took it by, uh, sort of took the initiative to, to kind of get it going. A couple going. of years ago, you said, Dave, was This it, is the uh, first year that we've oh, had it. So we've year? just kind of been working on it over the last year. Okay. So it's it's a it's a new thing. It's it's uh, we we had 2,500 calendars made. They sold out in a couple of days. So we're going to make more. But it's yeah, it's the first time we've ever oh. done it. So hopefully it's an ongoing, long-term thing that we can do. That's so. really nice. And people can order these calendars online. On they your... can. Yeah. So they can go to our website, uh, CalgaryPolice.ca, and uh, yeah, they can order them online. There's a few stores in and around Calgary, and all the information is on our website as to where they can get that. Okay, and do the calendars talk a bit about the work that you do with that uh, with the foundation? A little bit, yeah. There is there's a bit of a write up in there, and then as well as uh, it it sort of I guess focuses on on the different types of profiles that we have within the dog unit in the in the service, and just a little bit of information is provided in there as well. Absolutely. Ah, great. And what would be if I asked you about a real success story for Ben? What would you say? Like, what is Ben's uh, uh, call okay. to glory or something? What did he do that really yeah. stands out that maybe he could get a medal for or something? Um, you know, I don't really. I, it's it's sort of hard to say. I mean, I think that um, you know, they the just the offenders that they find. Uh, typically the offenders that we're locating are, are ones that are, are running from the police and are, are actively trying to flee. So really any of his catches or any of his, uh, his sort of arrests that we attribute to him and the work that he's done, I would say are, are all great. Um, and you know, he's they, had like quite a few over the years? Yeah, I mean, he, he gets them fairly regularly and you know, we're, we're getting- uh, He's a good cop. With, exactly, yeah. With our, uh, with our unit, we're, we're typically catching someone every, on average every two and a half days. Um, so that's someone that- wow. That's someone that typically maybe wouldn't have been found if we didn't bring a dog into that situation through locating their, their scent. And, and these, pe the, these the, the people that are typically running are, are hiding and are actively trying to hide and evade us. And so just by driving around and by walking around, you typically can't find them there. They're hiding under tarps or they're hiding in backyards or they're hiding under decks. Oh, yeah. uh, so we bring, we bring these guys in to, to, to help us locate those people and, and resolve the situation safely for everybody. Wow, that's really good. And uh, Jean-Francois, uh, what would you say is the most difficult part of your job? Well, um, <laughs> hmm. I think, you know what, the most difficult part is probably just uh, you know, staying focused and st keeping that intensity level. I think uh, you know, for our unit, to, it's you know, there's a lot of there's a lot asked of us in our unit, and uh, a lot expected of us. And so, uh, you know, we have to keep a. I think 25% of our time is what is our we're mandated to train. And so that's you know, you always kind of come in every day, and you know, you have days where you're tired or something's going on, but you still have to have that kind of intensity to to keep training and to you know to always be focused because on a call you don't want to be. You know the person's that you know obviously not paying attention because your our role is, you know, pretty important. I think so. Yeah. I think that would be the hardest thing is just keeping that up. But I mean, we we managed to do it. But it's you know. And there's a lot of training in your type of work. Yeah. Right? Because like, everything changes all the time. That's right. That's right. And you know what? You want to be sharp. You want to be yeah. on top of your game. So I mean, if you, you know, you could be good at something, but if you don't train and, and repeat that and keep doing it, then obviously your skills are starting to. To perish, right? So it's yeah. that's kind of our, our thing. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Great job, Ben. Et nous continuerons en français dans quelques minutes.